And this thing has been going on now for two hours. And anybody who owns an F-150, get on to Twitter or our blog and let us know how long these things can go on a full tank of gas because this guy, before this whole thing started, apparently had a full tank of gas. If you're just joining us at the top of the hour, they have tried the pit maneuver. If you're wondering why not just go up and try the pit maneuver, they have tried that. No fewer than five times they have failed. No fewer than five times, clearly because this guy is continuing to go. He has, along the route here, gone out the window with his cell phone and waved at the helicopters above him. He knows he's being watched. There are also spectators in the little towns that he goes through, spectators coming out and watching this thing unfold live as we are. Two hours this thing has been going, and we laughed last hour because this guy has broken so many laws we can't count them, yet when he changes lanes, he uses his signal. He tries to stop at stop signs, at least gives it a half-hearted effort, and goes through, and yet has broken a number of laws. And the, and the point here is, is that Texas is a three-strike state. We don't know if this guy is a criminal. We don't know what his record is, but the, here, you see him go over that line there. But this is, is a felony. And you can see this kind of truck kind of brocket there, and you can see him going off. That's the first time into the, into the grass. They're trying to bump this guy off. Now you got a police on both sides to kind of get this guy caged in, and he's got to. Here we go. This is that rolling barricade maneuver that Chris Gutierrez was talking about, and here we go. Bumper cars. Wow. That grass, by the way, is very wet. Surprising that he went off into the grass and then was able to get back on the freeway. Uh, but you can see they're kind of slowing him down. There's the pit. There's the back bumper. You can see him. He's going back. Uh. Uh. This guy's not giving up. Uh, another pit maneuver. A backside pit. There he goes into the water and... Here we go. Guns drawn. Police are out of their cars. Let's see who gets out of this truck. There he is. Throw him to the ground. Hmm. Well, by our clock, two hours and about two or three minutes, and the car chase in Texas has finally ended. This guy was put under by the pit maneuver after a number of tries. You can see the water on there. Um, boy, I don't know what else to say except that it's open. Impressive finish, though. At least that, that policeman must have been pretty happy when he went into that large puddle on the side of the road. They ended up getting him in a rolling roadblock technique, uh, that flatbed truck in front. And uh, this guy is headed, uh, headed to jail, and no doubt they have a number of questions for this man. I'm trying to get a closer look at him. Uh, he basically landed in the mud when they pulled him out of the car. He's a uh, white male, uh, medium height. Uh, you know, difficult to tell you much more about him than that, but man, this is a day that will change that man's life forever. There's no doubt about it because he never should have left that gas station without paying for the gas, and that was the day everything changed uh, for this man who's about to uh, get a pretty yep. stiff questioning. We hope he enjoyed his ride because he's now going to yep. jail. Bye bye. And